Free view synthesis is a method for novel view synthesis from input images that are freely distributed around the scene. Here is a set of input images of an outdoor scene, taken with a handheld camera. This is a sequence from the Tanks and Temples dataset. And here is a new trajectory through this scene, synthesized by our method. Our method works better than other techniques published concurrently with ours, such as neural radiance fields, also known as NERF. Here is a comparison with another technique published at the same time called Neural Point Based Graphics, or NPBG. In a nutshell, our method erects a geometric scaffold and then uses a recurrent mapping and blending network to render new views of the scene. First, we use Structure from Motion to estimate the camera parameters for the input images. Next, we run Multi-View Stereo to get an initial 3D reconstruction of the scene. Delaunay-based surface reconstruction is then used to obtain 3D proxy geometry. This proxy geometry assists the mapping of image features from input views to new target views. The processing of image features in the target view is performed by a recurrent network that integrates information from multiple source images. Each source image is first encoded using a convolutional network. The encoded features are then mapped to the target view using the proxy geometry. The mapped features are decoded by another convolutional network that produces estimated colors and confidence values in the target view. Estimated colors from multiple nearby source images are integrated into a coherent prediction. Let's compare our method with other recent techniques on another scene from the Tanks and Temples dataset. Let's begin with local light field fusion a recent technique based on multiplane images. Next, let's compare with Extreme View Synthesis, which warps matching volumes to novel target views. The block artifacts we can observe in the EVS results stem from the post-processing, which is based on Markov random fields. Next, let's compare to neural radiance fields, or NERF, on this train sequence. NERF fits a multi-layer perceptron to represent a 5D radiance field and uses volume rendering to synthesize new views. As we can see, NERF fails on this scene. We observe that the camera trajectory and the layout of the scene have a big impact on the results of this method, and it can fail catastrophically. Finally, let's compare to Neural Point Based Graphics, or NPBG. This technique fits feature vectors to 3D points in the scene and renders these via a convolutional network. NPPG is published concurrently with our work and is also based on an integration of geometric principles and deep learning. Both methods perform well on this scene, although our results are sharper and more photographic in appearance. Now let's compare the techniques on a new sequence that we recorded. Let's begin again with local light field fusion. Now, let's take a look at Extreme View Synthesis. The results of Extreme View Synthesis are better here than on the train sequence we saw earlier, but we can still see obvious artifacts.
Neural radiance fields work much better at this smaller scale scene than on the truck and train scenes we have seen. But if we look at the images more closely, we can see that the NERF results are much blurrier than ours, both in the background and in the foreground. Take a look at the floor in particular. NPBG struggles on this scene, and we can observe significant blurring and ghosting. This could be due to some naturally occurring blur in the handheld input images, which our method is able to handle better. Thank you for your attention, and please refer to our paper for more details and quantitative results.